Hey everybody, um, I am jumping back quite a bit here, uh, and it's because um, when I started this channel, I started talking about songs that sort of influenced me way back in the day, and I did one or two songs off this the album Kiss Unmasked, um, and when I was rolling through my feed the other day, there was an upload of the video clip by Ki for the song by Kiss called Tomorrow, which was also on the Kiss Unmasked. Um, so join me for this, um, especially if you've clicked on this. Maybe you're a Kiss fan, uh, or maybe you're just trying to see what I'm doing with this because you're following along with my journey. Um, if that's one of you, thank you very much. If you're new here, thank you very much. Like, subscribe if you like what you see. And let's get into Kiss Tomorrow. This was like late 70s, I think, this album. I kind of like the way this song starts with the and notice how it says hard rock heavy metal and it was like it wasn't a great deal of distortion on the um, instruments back then and Paul Stanley's voice is great, very smooth and powerful. Like that little slide there. like the imagery this is really throwing us back to the the days of when i was growing up like there was no social media there was videos on tv um i don't even think this was like mtv wasn't around just yet um and you had magazines if you wanted to find out about stuff um, probably if you join the fan club you might get a newsletter type thing and you see that this girl's a bit of a fan so she's got some drawings in her work and judging by her subjects going down this was um, Germany possibly um, Deutsch um, so a video clip recorded over, from a concert over there but yeah, the I liked the little bit of keyboard stuff in this. It was a little different, and it was one of the things that I kind of liked in, uh, about the song back then. And it was sort of only really prevalent in the chorus, I think, wasn't it?
Oh, it wasn't that sweet. Story a little lame, but <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, she's dreaming about Paul. He starts dreaming about her. And they get together in the end. But the song, the song. It was kind of one of the, the poppier of theirs, obviously, with that. But I liked the... Um, the guitar solo had like a, a little rawness. Um, a little bluesy, a little bit of bluesy to it. Um, Here we go. I just want to listen to the guitar solo again for a second. Just the, the little... I felt like it was a little bluesy. Except for that bit, man. Yeah. What do you think? Is that... It did have a little bit of a blues thing, but it was just one. It was one of the things that I really loved about this song. That like very short, very very short solo, um, but all the same, it had that little bit of a rawness to it. So it felt felt edgy. I don't know. Anyway, that was a song that was really influential for me. I had the Kiss Unmasked album on cassette because that was the way things were back then um, and my mate had it on LP on on, on vinyl um, and I remember the comic strip part that was on in the album I think it was on the inside cover of the album it had the whole comic strip my cassette didn't it just had little bits of it um, so I was a little bit jealous of my mate there but Wore this, wore this album out and I think I think from memory this was the first song on the second side so the B-sides um, somebody may be able to correct me and I'm going to check now because I think I remember where I put my cassettes because I, I still have it I do still have it um, but I did transfer it to CD and mp3 and all that sort of stuff so there we go um what did you think of this song um were you into kiss at all i'm assuming that you might have been if you're watching this reaction um if you weren't into kiss at all and you're just sort of watching this because you follow my channel um thank you very much for that um what are your thoughts on kiss what are your thoughts on this and like i said this is a really old song of theirs um they didn't play it on concert when I saw them at their last concert a couple of years back. Um, but this was what this was one of the influential albums that got me into rock, heavy rock, way back in the day. Anyway, thanks for being here. Like, subscribe, make, leave a comment, please. Leave a comment. I'd love to hear what people think of this um, because it's definitely different to the styles of music nowadays um and i'd like to hear your thoughts if you're one of the younger generations not one of the oldies like me cheers